Early on in Leo, another character refers to Vijay as a middle-aged man in a white shirt, which instantly establishes this film as different. After all, this is one of Tamil cinema's biggest superstars. The epithet Talapati usually precedes his name. It means leader or commander. But Leo's co-writer and director Lokesh Kanakraj, who earlier made Master with Vijay, wants to expand the range of mythic heroism in a mass movie. So we see Vijay howl with anguish. We see him serve coffee, play with his children, and mind the register at the coffee shop. Of course, we know that the explosion is coming, but it's these little moments that really land. Leo, co-written by Lokesh, Ratna Kumar and Dheeraj Vedi, is loosely inspired by David Cronenberg's 2005 classic A History of Violence. Like in that film, we're introduced to a character whose life seems to be blissfully banal. Parthiban runs a cafe in a small town, has a teenage son and a younger daughter. He loves his wife. Like in A History of Violence, there's a cop friend, played here by actor-director Gautam Menon. And then one day, bad guys roll into town and Parthi turns into a fierce fighter. Clearly, there has to be some explanation for his ability to kill and maim with such efficiency. This showdown in the cafe is one of the best sequences in the film. It begins playfully and accelerates into gruesome murders. The bloodletting and the tension is just fearsome. And at the end, instead of triumph, we see the horror of killing and the emotional cost of violence. Vijay superbly shoulders much of the load in the film, combining charisma with acting chops. More than once, we see him cry. He does vulnerability and tragedy with grace and conviction. The first half of the film holds together seamlessly, so you never stop to ask questions like, why don't the villains bring more guns to the fight? Or why Lokesh shot the film in Kashmir but is passing it off as Himachal Pradesh? It's odd to see men and women in the background wearing Kashmiri pirans. A history of violence was haunting in its suggestion that violence is alluring, even sexy. In that film, a bitter altercation between husband and wife is followed by an unforgettable and unnerving lovemaking scene. Leo doesn't have room for that sort of nuance, especially post-interval when the villains, the guns and the killing escalate exponentially. And we arrive at the biggest stumbling block, a backstory that simply doesn't deliver. Lokesh and his stellar team, DOP Manoj Paramhamsa, editor Philomin Raj, art director Satish Kumar, and of course, music composer Anirudh Ravichandar propel the visuals. Anirudh's BGM thumps life into some of the most middling scenes, but the narrative begins to sway precariously. The impact of the film depends on the explanation of why and what path he has left behind. But when it arrives, it's borderline ridiculous, even though Sanjay Dutt strains every muscle in his body to personify evil. The action by Anbariv is frequently spectacular, especially one chase scene in which the pursuer and the pursued keeps alternating. But after two hours, it becomes exhausting. In an interview, Lokesh said that he hopes someday to get to a place where you can see one frame of any film and identify it as a Lokesh Kanakraj film. We do have those here, like one shot in which dozens of cars put their headlights on at the same time and that itself becomes a sort of combat. We saw a similar moment in Vikram, or the way in which Lokesh can balance the burden of his leading men. The director is willing to humanize Vijay. In one scene, Parthi calls himself a loser. In some of the action sequences, he takes a beating and even gets hurt. By the end though, he is very much a superhero, hanging by one hand and yet taking out men by the dozen. Is Leo peak Lokesh? No. But it's worth watching for Vijay's performance and its set pieces, which includes a tender scene between Parthi and his wife Satya, played by the lovely Trisha. She doesn't have enough to do, but she has enough gravitas to make us instantly understand why Parthi doesn't want to cross her. I don't know about you, but I can also feel action fatigue setting in. In the interval for Leo, we saw trailers for Tiger 3 with Salman Khan and Ghost with Dr. Shiva Rajkumar. In both, the respective superstars were defying the laws of physics, walking in slow motion and saving the world. Our screens seem to be awash in testosterone. I'm now keenly waiting for a sweet rom-com or maybe a mature family drama. And of course, for Rohit Shetty and Deepika Padukone's Lady Singham. If you enjoyed this review, then subscribe to Reviews and More.